Seven fast, seven furious. Today on the Beer Movie Guy, Beer Movie Guy looks at Fast and Furious Seven, or, or they're calling it Furious Seven, right? It's like a Seven Samurai thing, but with cars and yeah, not really, but yeah, something. I don't know. Let's look at it. Brought to you by the Beer Movie Guy. Hi, I'm the Beer Movie Guy, and I'm back. You're probably like. Where, where'd you go? I was on vacation for a week, so I didn't make any videos. And there's another good reason I didn't make any videos on my vacation, other than the fact that I was relaxing and goofing off and basically doing nothing. It was glorious. My dog ate my video camera. And I'm not kidding. My dog ate my video camera. Killed it. Killed the screen. So, if this looks better in some way or worse, I got a brand new camera that my parents were nice enough to buy for me because the dog ate the video camera. Ah! Ah! Thanks, Mom and Dad. All right. Now onto the movie. Furious 7 is the latest installment of the Fast and Furious franchise. That's some better more guy iteration for you. It stars Vin Diesel, Paul Walker, Michelle Rodriguez, <laughs> Dwayne Johnson, Jason Statham, Jordana Brewster, Tyrese Gibson, Ludacris, and Lucas Black in like a tiny, tiny role. Let's look what it's about. All right, so, you haven't been watching the Fast and Furious movies. Let me catch you up. I live my life a quarter mile at a time. Yeah, that's, you're there now. I saw the very first Fast and Furious movie in a screening in Toronto. So I got to see it a couple weeks before it actually came out. And I loved it. I thought it was totally fun and totally stupid, but totally good. And since then, they've made a bunch of them. And some of them have been okay. And some of them have been awesome. You know which one I'm talking about. And the seventh one, we basically have the revenge plot. This is the first one that takes place after Fast and Furious 3. They did 1, 2, 3, and then technically... Four, five, and six take place before three, and now we're all caught up and we're past three. You with me? Good. In the last one, a guy got hurt, and in this one, his brother, Jason Statham, is looking for revenge. Dom wants to kill this guy, this guy wants to kill Dom and the entire team. Meanwhile, Kurt Russell... <laughs> Kurt Russell was in the movie, that was great! I just, it, I love Kurt Russell. Shows up and gives uh, Dom and the team a... job. Yeah, let's say a job. So the rest of the movie is them trying to do that job, while at the same time, Jason Statham's trying to kill them all. And he keeps on showing up randomly. That's all I'm going to say with the plot. Let's talk about the movie. This is a really nice looking movie. The chase scenes, the stunts, a lot of it is just really awesome. You can tell they put a lot of prep work and a lot of time into doing things, especially the bus thing where it's sliding and Paul Walker's jumping and... It's cool. Saying that, it's ridiculous. Like, literally ridiculous. Everyone would die. Everyone. But you just... It's a Fast and the Furious movie. Turn your brain off. Turn any logic centers in your being off. Just forget it. Sit back and enjoy the movie. If you think about it, you'll burst a blood vessel trying to go, but then when Don't. Don't. This is not an Oscar contender. This is just Furious 7. It's a popcorn flick. Saying that, it's a good popcorn flick. It's unrealistic. It's fun. It's action-y. It's funny. The acting's good pretty much all around. There's no bad acting. There's what they do. And let's get to it. This is Paul Walker's last movie. What they did was Paul Walker didn't finish it, so they did some of his scenes with, he has two brothers that apparently look very much like him, especially in body type. So they had them come in and do everything that he didn't get to do, and then digitally put his face on them for when they couldn't do, like there were some scenes where I'm like, I bet that's the brother because they're not showing the face. It's a lot of quick cuts, especially in a fight scene. I was like, that's the brother. That's not Paul Walker. But they did a really good job. The end of this movie is a perfect tribute to him. It's just touching, and it works, and it made me cry a little, and it just... <laughs> okay, I'm, I, I didn't... Okay, I cried a little, okay? Just a little. For the most part, this is a really fun movie. There's a few things that kind of annoyed me. A lot of shaky cam in the action scenes, some of which would work great, some of which, which didn't work great. There was a few things where guys would jump and they would rotate the camera as they're falling the other direction. It looked cool the first time, but the second time, it looked stupid. And there was a bunch of scenes where they just kept on rotating. Two people were talking on a phone and they kept on rotating around the person as they were talking and like both of them. So it would cut to one person rotating around them and then the other person on the phone and they're rotating around. And it's just like, do we really need to rotate around them to show them that they're in a hospital and show that they're... It just, I, it seemed kind of stupid. All in all though, Furious 7 is a great addition to the franchise. It's not the best movie of the franchise, but it is good. I give it three beards and a half because it's Paul Walker's last film and because it made me cry just that little bit. Thanks for watching. I do the Tumblr Twitter stuff. I do written reviews and updates of beardedness. I'll put links for that below. And until next time, stay bearded, everyone.
Oh, you're gonna watch the Barrymore guy. Oh yeah, or Furious Seven. Did you like Furious Seven? Did you like Furious One, Two, Three, Four, Five, and Six? Number five is the best, you know. Just saying. Tell the better movie guy what you think. Subscribe and tell your friends. And as always, you're Tom Safely. So this is the one. Hmm. Excuse me while I help my dog. Parker, shut up! Shut up! I'm back. Popcorn flick. Popcorn flick and popcorn flip and popcorn poke.